Hey guys, NP Carlson here. I just wanted to make a quick video because I've been getting a lot of very similar questions recently. And, you know, while I'm not here to say, you know, stop with all the questions, I've had enough, I just thought, why not make a quick video to answer them all so that we're all on the same page? Plus, it makes more sense than replying to everyone individually. But, first of all, my 1K sub special is still in development, and yes, I'm very aware we've reached 3K already, which is amazing. So thank you all for helping this channel grow so fast. And uh, yeah, I'm working hard on the 1K. I've had plenty of free time in the summer. I have been developing it. <laughs> but like I said before, it is going to be a while. It's a big, big project. As a, as a very, very rough estimate to when it could be done, uh, I'll say about a month and a half from now. So probably like near the end of October. But uh, you know, I don't know. That is a very rough estimate. It could be less, it could be more. It's really hard to tell at this point, but uh, I won't just bring it on you guys without warning. You know, like I've done before, I'll make some kind of quick video as a teaser, telling you that it's nearly done, so you can expect that. And, uh, okay, now for some of the FAQs. Is the Robotnik and Cortex thing going to be continued? Yes, it will be. That that will be pretty much the main focus of the 1K subspecial. Uh, for those of you unaware, this was a uh, sort of cliffhanger thing I left at the very end of Five Nights at Foster's. Uh, I won't spoil it if you haven't seen it, but yeah, if you haven't seen it, I'd encourage you to go watch that if you haven't. Is the 1K a Crash Bandicoot YTP? Yes. I, well, I mean, well, it is, yeah, but there will be other elements to it, like the Robotnik and Cortex storyline. But, I mean, yeah, the main source will be Crash Bandicoot. Are you using the classic Crash games or the newer Crash games? Well, both, really. Uh, I've tried to get a good mix of every console Crash game. You know, including the PS1 trilogy, the kart racing games, and the Titans games. You know, you you'll spot elements and references to every single one of the main 11 console games? I think it's 11. Yeah, 11. Will Mr. Krabs ever get his millionth dollar back from Mario Head? Yeah, the, uh, the ongoing Krabs and Mario Head storyline that starts way back in Krabs Reels and a Banana Shit Sandwich and has had small cameos in Ripto's Races, Crustacean Resurrection Redemption, and Five Nights at Foster's will be another big part of the 1K subspecial and the story will be concluded. That's all I can say for now. <laughs> will Five Nights at Foster's be getting a sequel? Yes, it will. Uh, like I said in the Q&A, you guys, you twisted my arm enough and convinced me to do more Foster stuff. And uh, I already have some ideas for it. Uh, of course, uh, Five Nights at Foster's didn't have a story, so there won't be any story to be continued from it. It will just be, you know, random stuff. And, you know, I've got other episodes I can work with, so yeah, but um, that won't be until next year. Will Ripto's Races be getting a sequel? Uh, same answer, pretty much. Yes, it will. And I will be using Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon, for that one. We can forget about the original Spyro the Dragon. That game didn't have many cutscenes to work with anyway. I, and, and yeah, I have got ideas for this already to make it fit with the story of the first one. But again, that won't be until next year. And uh, I don't know which one I'll do first, actually, out of Ripto's Races 2 or Five Nights at Foster's 2. Ripto's Races 2 probably won't be called Ripto's Races 2. But uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see on that. Will Crustacean Resurrection Redemption be getting a sequel? No! And, uh, and now for the most frequently asked question of them all, will you re-upload Mr. Pig aerially rotates his pound cakes? Okay, um, first of all, sorry I've been ignoring a lot of you by not answering this question, and also for not answering why it was taken down in the first place. I, uh, I don't want to go into too much detail about what happened, but the, the long and short of it is that, not naming any names, a group of idiots, uh, yeah, I don't think that's too harsh, they really were being idiots, uh, basically they started were almost bullying one or two people who'd made comments on the video and the things they were saying to them were just outrageous and really insensitive. So um, I tried to reason with them and stop everyone disagreeing but uh, they were just having none of it. Uh, you know, keep in mind this wasn't just a petty squabble. This was a full-blown, horrible, disgusting war pretty much. So eventually I had to block the people that were doing this, but because of the messed up comment system and YouTube and Gmail and Google and whatever it is, uh, they were still replying. The, the comments didn't show up on the video and nobody else could see them, but the people they were replying to would still get emails so the messages were still going through. And I also noticed that the view count on that video was rapidly increasing and it was almost surpassing some of the ones I'd made earlier. And I realised it was because of this, so I, I thought the best thing to do would be to delete the video off the channel. And after that, um, things died down a lot, and they weren't able to, or, or they just didn't take it to any other of my videos, so yeah. Uh, and the reason I didn't tell you guys about it, or re-upload the video, was um, because I was, I was worried. No, I mean, not that they would come back and start again, but that, that people would feel uncomfortable or uneasy around the video after that, or around the comment section of the video. Um, but uh, now that's all out in the open, and I, and hopefully everyone else involved, has gone over it, I will be re-uploading it. 
but not until late November because that's when my Viacom copyright strike expires and I'll be re-uploading Squidward Has Too Much Fun in the Park at the same time. Uh, but yeah, I hope you guys can understand and uh, sorry if a lot of you were really confused about that and hopefully everyone will have forgotten about it by then. You know, I, I, I just thought it was the best solution and, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being selfish here or anything. I wasn't like, I don't want bad comments on my video. Deleted. No. I was, I was thinking of the victims and I was, I was, well, I was just trying to end all of it, really. And, uh, well, I also realised it wasn't fair to you guys to keep you in the dark about all this, about what happened. But anyway, everything's resolved. Everyone's happy. The channel is stronger than ever. Rejoice. <laughs> rejoice, yeah. I'll, I'll go with that. Don't know what else to say. Rejoice. Everybody rejoice. We've reached 3k. Um, anyway, thanks for watching this update video, I hope it answered some of your questions you may have had, and if you are still curious about these topics and don't think I covered something, feel free to ask follow-up questions in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, thank you all for 3,000 subscribers, you guys are awesome. Links to the videos I mentioned are in the description, except for the obvious one that won't be in the description, unless you're watching this after November this year, in which case it will be in the description. Or remember to put that in. Uh, yeah, the next video you'll see on this channel won't be the 1k subspecial, but hopefully you'll enjoy it nonetheless. So, everyone have a good day and goodbye!